Make homemade fudge with me. It's a really simple recipe. All you need are some semi-sweet chocolate chips, some peanut butter chocolate chips, some crushed walnuts, sweetened condensed milk, and dark chocolate. I took this cake pan and I lined it with wax paper. Grab yourself a pan to melt everything. All right, we are going to turn it on very low heat. I'm gonna add the sweetened condensed milk first, just one of these cans. Let's see, what is it here? 14 ounces. Next, I'm going to add the whole bag of milk chocolate, a half a bag of the Reese's, and then I'm going to break these chocolate bars up. I'm going to add both. You can use, if you, I just couldn't find the bag of uh, dark chocolate, but I like to mix the dark chocolate with the semi-sweet because it kind of makes it so it's not so sweet. Everything's in there. We're going to slowly stir as it slowly melts. I'm going to crush these walnuts just to make them a little more bite size, little itty bitties, before I add it into the mixture. It's all crushed up. We're going to add it into our melted chocolate mixture. All of that is mixed together. Now we have our fudge in just a more liquidy, mushy form. So we're going to transfer the fudge from the pot to our wax paper cake pan here and put it in the refrigerator. Now we just gotta put it in the refrigerator. I was able to find this beautiful jewelry box here at Burlington, so I'm actually going to use this box here. I'm making this gift for my friend Kim. I'm going to use this box to put the fudge inside, so not only is she- look how pretty that is, isn't that gorgeous? So not only is she getting the fudge as a gift, she gets to keep this keepsake jewelry box with her, so I'm going to line the inside of this with wax paper so that it can be protected. Alright, there you go. Two hours later, the fudge was cool enough to be able to cut up and I put it inside this beautiful jewelry box. Fudge box. Jewelry box. It's a keepsake that she can have forever. It's the next day and I already gave my friends their gifts and they're super excited. They love the fudge. There's a couple things that I wanted to say before you guys make it when you line the cake pan with the wax paper make sure you do two at least two layers of it so after it's cool for two hours you can just lift it right out of the cake pan because if you only use one sheet of wax paper you're gonna have a difficult time lifting it out i mean i suppose you can just like flip it over and it will come out but i i like to do double layers um and secondly Secondly, if you want to add more chocolate, you absolutely can. Just make sure you add another can of the sweetened condensed milk. You can add more peanut butter chips. You can add more chocolate chips, more dark chocolate, more semi-sweet milk chocolate, whatever you want, a uh, butterscotch, anything like that. Just make sure that you add another can of the sweetened condensed milk so that the consistency is, you can, you're able to stir it. It's not too, too thick. Uh, nuts are optional. You don't have to have nuts. You don't have to have the peanut butter chips in there. I just like to do it because that's like my favorite and favored recipe is the one that I showed you guys and made for you guys. I have cats that are playing in the background, so I've tried to record this several times and I'm just going with it today because they are just going absolutely crazy, but it's all good. So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know those couple of things uh, if you make it. The batch that I had made is enough for probably six to seven people to make little gift boxes for, so it does make quite a bit. And price-wise, I price-wise I think I spent under fifteen bucks for all of the ingredients. So there you go. It's pretty affordable, and you can feed a lot of people. So happy fudge making! It is the perfect consistency fudge. So good. Mm-hmm.